Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. I upload a new video at least once a week normally, but since it is December, we are in the middle of the holiday season, I've been uploading every single day, and it's my goal to do that until at least Christmas. So if you haven't already, now is a great time to subscribe to my channel so you can stay on top of all of those new videos. Today I have my December Sips by Tea Discovery Box. So I'm gonna be unboxing this, showing what I got for the month of December, and also trying one of the teas, which is the most exciting part. So let's go ahead and open it up. So first there's this card. December teas, and then made for Dana. It says, the most wonderful time of year is here, Dana. We're sending all the love right now and hoping that whatever shape your holiday season takes this year, tea is there to provide an extra bit of comfort and joy. And then it says each tea that we have, but I wanna look at them in here. Like I wanna like go through it. Ooh, and then I have this little postcard that says merry and bright. There's some discount codes there if you guys want to use those. Every Sips by Box comes with these biodegradable disposable filters. So they're just kind of like do-it-yourself tea bags. If you don't have a tea infuser, you still have what you need to make loose tea, which I think is really awesome. That's why I love that they include these. They're awesome for traveling or any situation where you can't be like cleaning your infuser and like dumping out the leaves somewhere and you just want to be able to, you know, have the convenience of a tea bag. But the first thing I see is this Bare Leaves Fujian Oolong. I love straight oolongs. They always like hit the nail right on the head by giving me straight oolongs. I just, I'm obsessed. I love like the toasty oolongs, the milky oolongs, the fruity notes oolongs, everything. So this one is a Fujian Oolong. And it says this oolong was grown in eastern Fujian province, China. It has a medium oxidation level and a toasty flavor. And it's just straight oolong. So I know I'll love this one. Next we have Christmas tea. And this is from Tea Gishwender. Tea Gishwender? I don't know how to say the name. But they're actually located in Chicago. And I live in Illinois, not far from Chicago. So I've always wanted to try this brand, even though I don't know how to say it. Like, don't let that fool you. I'm really hyped about this. So this is number 999 Flavored Black Tea Spice Blend Christmas Tea Masters Blend. Black teas from India, Ceylon, and China. Orange peel, flavor, cinnamon, almond bits, cloves, and vanilla pieces. I'm definitely gonna like this one. Quality assurance from tea experts. From tea garden to cup, we ensure that all teas comply with our rigorous quality control standards. The pleasure of pure tea. Prior to purchase, the fresh harvest samples undergo stringent sensorial and scientific testing in tea just wenders high tech in-house laboratories to ensure that they are free of residues and impurities. That is so cool. Yeah, so they're located on State Street in Chicago. Once I feel safe going to the city again, I'd love to check them out. They've been on my list for a long time. The Yule Tide made bright by the heavy spices of the season. Nutmeg and vanilla hide subtly behind a bold dose of cloves. I'm gonna love that because I love spiced teas, so I cannot wait to try that. And now we have Crooked Crows Deep Sleep Herbal Tea Blend, handcrafted. The ingredients are California Poppy, Lemon Balm, Linden Flower, Ashwagandha Root, Gotu Cola, Lavender, and Red Rooibos Tea Leaf. So this one's made in Colorado. I've never had a tea with poppy in it before, so I'm excited about that. And I'm always really intrigued by Ashwagandha. I always see YouTubers talk about that brand for Sigmatic where it's all different like mushrooms and like adaptogens and things and they're always talking about ashwagandha and I'm not sure I've ever tried a tea with it in there before. I'm really excited about this. So this is a nice sleepy tea it looks like and here on the postcard it says continuous stress and overactive nerves contribute to sleepless nights. 
The deep sleep tea blend was formulated to combat these factors which prevent restful sleep. Lucky for me, I always can fall asleep, but the problem is once I fall asleep, I have nightmares. I guess not nightmares, more like anxiety dreams. I'm just grateful I can always fall asleep because I'll wake up out of the dream and you know, I'm, I'm okay as long as I've got a restful night of sleep. I don't like wake up from it or anything, but I always have anxiety dreams mostly about masks like literally that's always my dream is i'll be like um out in public and i'll slowly start to realize wait a minute no one's wearing masks out here and i'll like freak out so that's where i'm at <laughs> um i wish there were teas that weren't like just to help you fall asleep but to like give you good dreams i wish that was the thing but that's like magic fairy tale stuff it sounds like but like tea really is magic fairy tale stuff, am I right? And this is the one I'm gonna try today. It is by the brand Soul Mate Organic Yerba Mate Apple Blend. So here's how the packaging looks. I like this like shiny black envelope. I always see like glossy black or you know, just aluminum, but this one's shiny, I like that. And the ingredients are organic yerba, cinnamon, organic apples, coconut sugar, and vanilla. So I'm gonna get this one steeping and then we can like really dive into checking it out. I have a clear glass mug. This one's from Crate and Barrel. And then this is my own brand of metal basket infuser. I just launched my brand this year. It is called Dana Tea. And this is my first product. I hope to have like a full line of teaware and maybe even teas someday. But for now, this is what I got to start off with. So if you want to support that dream and you need a reliable way to make tea, it's always linked in my description. So I'm just going to... Put our tea right in there. Pour over our hot water. And let's give this some time to steep and we could check out the loose tea, the ingredients, and learn a little bit about soul mate. I love that name. So mate can steep as long as we'd like. It won't oversteep or get bitter because it's not from like the tea plant the Camellia sinensis, it's a different plant. But here is what it looks like in the spoon. Let's dump it out on a plate so we can get like a really good look at it. So those green like piecey kind of leaves are the yerba mate leaves. It kind of smells like, like autumn, like it smells like autumn leaves from probably the yerba mate. But then I do get like that apple sort of flavor. A lot of the time it's hard to like recreate the flavor of apple in a tea. I find like whenever teas actually taste like apple, they usually have some sort of flavoring element. This one doesn't though. So I am curious if we're gonna get that apple flavor. And there is some cinnamon. I'm also intrigued that there's coconut sugar in this. So I'm curious to see if it's going to taste like sweeter than what I'm used to. But I wanna go on their website. Oh, and on the postcard it says, this delicious yerba blend has hints of cinnamon and apple flavors. Enjoy hot or cold in a mug or the authentic Argentinian way with an artisanal gourd mate and bombilla straw. And on the website, they actually have the cups. So this is the traditional way to drink yerba mates in these gourd cups, like they're made of gourds. And then there's a metal straw. Wow, they have beautiful ones. Look at how pretty that is. That would make a really cool Christmas gift. It's something like I wouldn't have thought I wouldn't buy it for myself, but it would be a really cool gift to receive. And then the bambia is this metal straw. And at the end of the straw there, that's actually where the filter is. So traditionally, you would just throw the leaves right into the cup loose with the water. You don't even, like the traditional way, doesn't use an infuser and then as you sip it, it gets stronger and stronger in flavor because, you know, it's still steeping, but the leaves stay out of your mouth because there's a filter at the end of the straw. Very, very cool. I like to see the like About Us page for every tea brand. Let's see if they have that. They have an FAQ page, but it doesn't look like they have like a proper About Us page. 
So there's some information about yerba mate plant and leaves, like where does it come from, the health benefits, which includes rich in vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and fiber, natural energizer, a powerful adaptogen, which helps the body adapt to stress, decreases inflammation, some information how to clean the bombillas and gourds. Let's go to the apple page so we could see if there's any more information about this tea. And it looks like there is. Apple yerba mate tea blend. The description here says bright yerba blend with tangy apple and creamy vanilla. Tasting notes, bright apple, cinnamon, and vanilla. Looks like they do also have some like herbal blends, like they have a sleepy one. A yerba mate wouldn't be like the thing to have for sleep. So it looks like that one, they left the mate out. So it looks like they do have some really good variety, but also just different yerba mate blends and different iterations of that. So that looks really cool. Here's how it's looking so far. So I'd say let's go ahead and take out that infuser. So I'm not smelling much of like anything besides like the yerba mate. It smells very fall. Like I know apple is like kind of a fall flavor, but something about it reminds me of literally the smell of being outdoors in fall. Like when we went to the pumpkin patch this year, like, I, you know the how memories are associated with smells or smells are associated with memories? So if you smell certain smells, it brings back certain memories. And for some reason, this is literally like bringing me to the pumpkin patch. I don't know why, <laughs> but it literally, uh, to me, smells just like the pumpkin patch. So it brings back some good memories. Right, our next course of action is to taste it. I like it. I really like it because you can taste the mate first and foremost, like nothing is more powerful than the flavor of the mate. And I love straight mate. I don't think everybody will like this though. I do, but I don't think there is that coconut sugar in there, but I don't get a whole lot of sweetness. For me, this is more savory and like vegetal and more leafy, I guess. Like, it definitely has like a strong like green flavor and I love that, but I know not everybody does. I really expected this to be a lot sweeter than it is because when you add apple to a tea, normally it doesn't really translate as the flavor of apple. It more so just adds the sweetness of an apple. So I did expect this to taste sweeter than it tastes. But like for me, it's good that it doesn't because I love like more savory teas, more spiced teas, more like vegetal teas. Like I don't really prefer super sweet, so I like this. I gotta be honest though, I don't really get any apple flavor. It's really that mate flavor. So, for me, I'm pleasantly surprised. I also don't really taste any vanilla. You know, maybe, maybe if I like, if I really try, I sort of do taste the apple. Yeah, you know, there is like a hint of apple, but I think if you went to buy this tea for the apple flavor, I don't think it would do it for you. If you bought it because you love mate and just wanted to try some different mate blends, 
than I think it would. I'm I'm surprised and happy, honestly, that, that the sweetness is, is not uh, overpowering because when I saw sugar in it, I was like, this might be a little sweet for me, you know? But I actually really like it. That's my little overview of Soul Mate's Organic Yerba Mate Apple Blend and my unboxing of my December Sips By box. I love Sips By, they are so awesome. If you haven't got a Christmas present for someone you know who loves tea yet and it's like within your budget, a subscription box makes such a cool Christmas gift. One of my aunts got me a makeup one a couple years ago and it was like the gift that keeps giving all year. It was really fantastic. So I hope that you and your families are staying safe and healthy. I hope you are having a beautiful holiday season and a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.